Freedom of speech is a necessary prerequisite to being able to pursue the truth. It's, it's only necessary, but it's not sufficient. Freedom of speech, freedom of expression, fundamentally protect opinion. We don't limit speech. You can have a crazy opinion and we'll protect it. Academic freedom is different. Academic freedom is the necessary and it is a sufficient condition to achieve the truth. Now, how do we do that? Well, in the university context, this has been the role, the intentional, explicit, understood role of the university since the University of Berlin was established in 1810. And since that period, one of the things society looks to the university for is for authoritative knowledge. What is the state of knowledge in any particular field? What we do at universities is we try to provide that authoritative knowledge. How do we do that? Well, we recruit scholars who are the best in their fields. We place them in contexts. We call them departments, disciplines, and we ask them to do the very best work that they're capable of and then to transmit that knowledge to the next generation. What, what is the state of that knowledge that they're, they're, the state of knowledge in their discipline, the authoritative knowledge in their discipline? We call that authoritative knowledge truth. The truth is always provisional. Our whole purpose in being is to continue to interrogate what we consider to be the truth. And we're constantly revising and making new insights and new inroads and reinterpreting what we thought we had as received wisdom. That's the work of universities. It can be a source of frustration. Can't you guys ever get it right? is sometimes a, a criticism laid on us. No, we're always in progress, always trying to pursue further, push back the boundaries of knowledge. 